All right. Just uh, loading up into the game. Mudbog Joker, you were first. Epic moments. Hello, Ren. Stupid rules. B Scrap Gamer Malbix. LT Dexter. Jude Farley. More survival. <laughs> survival. Is that is that like the the most gentleman like Bible there is? Survival of church. Survival of Churchington. All right, let's uh, let's just get back to whatever we were doing last game. What were we doing last game? I have no idea. I really have no idea. Um, how about? Oh, uh, oh yeah. How about we actually look into our inventory? No, not our inventory. What are we looking at our inventory for? Garbage. We're looking at craft bot because there should be some new stuff. Because I bothered to install the fant mod. <laughs> we got all sorts of fant mod stuff. What's this? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, wait, beacon? Is there... Where is the other beacon? Where's the actual beacon? Is there a... Wait. Where's the actual beacon? You can't craft it, or... I could have sworn you could. Unless the Fant mod ruined the uh, the actual beacon crafting rest. What the heck? There's got to be... There's got to be... My dumb eyes can't even see it. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's not like I was going to use it anyways. <laughs> so, anyway, let's just get back to whatever we were doing. Uh, I think... I, I honestly can't remember what I was going for here. It's been a whole three days, and I already forgot what I was working on. Um, I think... I mean, obviously, I always need component kits. Always need component kits. So I think what I wanted to build was lots of... Why can't I... Why can't I craft this? It says I have... Oh, wait. I need... this. <laughs> I need metal block one. Duh. Duh. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I'm such a dingus sometimes. All right. I remember I needed a whole bunch of metal too, but I, I have no idea what for. You don't play for three days and you already forget everything. Okay, how are these resource collectors doing? They doing their job? Looks like they are. Um, I think, okay, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, it only took, I could have, I could have made that make another resource collector. I don't know why. No. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna go out for a little adventure. Get some... Uh, get some component kits. Because I always need that. What do I need metal 2 for? Ooh. Ooh. I remember what I needed it for. <laughs> I remember. I remember. Yeah, all right, let's see if I can fit, outfit this uh, vehicle. With some better equipment. It's always, uh, I, I, I desperately need those component kits. <laughs> all right, I mean, can I, do I just go on foot? What do I have on me? Do I, I might just go on foot on a little adventure to collect everything that I possibly can. Not even take my vehicle with me. Let's, um, yeah, I guess we can just leave everything in here. Don't need you. Don't need you. I'm not going to need any fuel with me. Meh. I might need some blocks for, like, getting around places. All right, I think this is all I need for my adventure. Just food supplies to keep myself alive and, uh, and off we go. So do trees regrow? Yes, they definitely do. Trees and rocks respawn after some time. I, I'm not exactly sure how much time. Just like, uh, just like Karen. Oh my gosh. I 
I also I, I haven't even like taken a good look at the uh, the new mod parts that are in the craft bot. So I need to I need to make sure I Oh, oh, give me 2 seconds. I need to open up the thing. I don't need to use it now, but the gamma filter thing. I need to have that open. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like my game don't crash. It's randomly freezing. Hungry. I suppose suppose I could eat something. I still don't have a spud gun. Would probably be super useful to go get one, right? Which probably means I should probably start farming at some point. What do I need for a spud gun? What's with that music? Oh, it's just a playlist from the same the same channel that I always play music from whenever I stream. It, no copyright sounds. Oh my god, just come tomorrow. Just get. Whatever. I'm not playing with you. <laughs> it's just not playing with you. Oh my god, my game. She's like hard freezing. What is that? Alright. Nothing in there. Nope, I just need component kits. I gotta focus. Don't forget what I'm looking for. It looks like I've already been in here. Eh. Yeah. Well, I just gotta keep on going then. <clears throat> just, uh. Just keep swinging, just keep swinging. Hello, Jacob! They need to add rain. That is a great suggestion. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother stopping around in here. I already know there's no component kits. Nothing. You, you don't really drop any component kits, do you? So why am I fighting you? What? <laughs> that drops a component kit. Wow. My gosh. I swear I must be the like the the person with, you know, karma right up their butt all the time. Like it's so it's so, you know, the timing's too perfect. <laughs> I say something and it just ha like my gosh. I have a stalker and its name is Karma. Surf, is the cook bot still that cute? Oh yeah, totally. Out of all the bots ever, it's the, probably the best one still. Why am I even jumping up here? I, I could see that there was nothing up here. Oh my god, my brain cells. <laughs> uh, hey, Reito. Reito Caverna. Hey, hi, Durf. How are you? Have you think about right foot reveal at 50k subs? Not the left foot, just the right one, huh? Uh, um, hmm, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, <laughs> jeez. You guys don't really know, like, much about me, do you? So, like, uh, what if I was, uh, you know, what if I was a person that didn't have a right leg and you said that? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, then at 50k. <laughs> <laughs> if 50k subs, I would just show you then. Oh, that would be pretty funny. I mean, no, I, I do have a right leg. Uh-oh, <laughs> uh-oh! He called the boys over. Comparing it. Uh, yeah, I'll take the beat. Maybe I'm gonna get hungry. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. All right, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Yeah, nothing. Nothing. You guys are brainless. Nothing. I can literally, oh my God, really? 
That is too cheap. Oh man. I'm, I'm almost disappointed in that fight. Oh man, what is this? <laughs> this is way too cheap. Alright, whatever. <laughs> I think chat is delayed for you, dear. Uh, maybe not. No, it should be like, um... Hold on, let me see. Let me see myself, actually. Let me see myself. Boop. Eight, nine, ten. That's about ten seconds, actually. Ten second latency. We'll pick up potatoes, even though I don't have a spud gun yet. <clears throat> so, I mean, if you guys are, uh... If you guys it, like think that it's lagging for you really really bad, you might need to refresh the page or watch it like a lower resolution maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't really make sense. Like it should have the 1080p. Nah. Yeah. Ten seconds for me though. It also depends on where you are, I guess too, right? Because like I, I send the stream to YouTube server, but then server sends it to other YouTube servers for other countries before sending it di like directly to you, right? So there might be like an added delay depending on where you are in the world. Did I check this? Oh. All right. Definitely got a little bit distracted there for comparing it gets. Oh, I want, I want them, but compare. <laughs> I can't even say it anymore. Comparing it gets. Hey, yeah. Yes. Nah, I mean, I'll take it anyway. Fuel is kind of a good thing to pick up. Um, just because I don't want to have to go for a swim. But, you know, that kind of... It doesn't that defeat the purpose axe a lot. Don't you want players to go for a swim? I don't know. I mean, I definitely get annoyed going having to go for a swim, so... I appreciate, how, you know, being able to pick up fuel. Uh-oh. <laughs> that was a much farther drop than I thought it was going to be. Alright, let's just keep on going. We're going to get all these buildings. Uh, do you have a component kit for me? Nope. I don't even want to pick it up. <clears throat> yeah, I just, I really need to get a bunch of component kits. Because I'm always low. Always low. But then I want to, uh, like, upgrade my mining vehicle. I want to get my... Uh, I could probably get a, a, a wood vehicle, too. What do I need wood for, though? I've needed metal this this time uh, just to get more drills, just to get more rocks and metal, just to get more metal, <laughs> just to get more drills. All right, all right, let's deal with you guys in the way that we know how. Ah, okay. <laughs> That's a new move that he pulled. Oh, hi. <laughs> Aha. Clumsy. Ah. Oh my gosh. That guy was lethal. Uh oh. He brought back up. Running a little bit low on health. Where is he? Where is he? Come on. You know what? You know what? Maybe I can just do this. Yeah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, come on, Axolot. Oh, come on. This is way too cheap. What? <laughs> what was that? Let's go get him. Oh, hi. There's another one. Uh, it seems my brain's AI is superior to the game's AI.
All right. <laughs> you raise above them bots. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it did look like I was on a pedestal preaching to them. Oh, oh, they really can't. They really can't fight you uphill. I'm exposing all their weaknesses. Ooh, I picked up a red walk. Heck yeah. That's a fan mod part. Pretty happy about a red walk. What am I looking for? <laughs> there it is. Yes. Derf, I will soon make a new tiny mod, which will allow you to upgrade your character, giving it extra health, speed, armor. Oh. Yeah, I think the uh, I think the red walk gives you... I, I could already forget. I checked out the fan mod once before, but I already forget what it does. Makes you run fast. Gives you energy. I don't know. Something like that. Let's drink it and find out. Speed boost. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's right. Speed boost. <laughs> Oh, dang. Dang, that's too... I don't even need a vehicle anymore. <laughs> that's how great this is. Although, fair fair enough that it's only a um, short time. Comparing it, kid. Fuel. Ah, sure, I'll take the soil, too. Oh, my God, I almost jumped off the building. I gotta be careful. Dang, that's a lot of fun. <laughs> you gotta go fast. All right, let's get out of here. Hit up that next building. Can we? Uh... Yeah, we can hardcore parkour down. Hardcore parkour. Derf, how to get mods? I. I downloaded the uh, the version from ScrapMechanicMods.com. I think there's also a version of the Fant mod on the workshop. Um, it's the same. It's it's really the same process. You download the mod, but you have to go into the the, the workshop is not what you think it is. Like it's not going to automatically install the mod for you. You still have to manually install it. Um, so it doesn't really matter what option you use until there's like some you know official support for survival mods. It's always going to be a manual install. Uh, but yeah, I th like I, I checked the change logs on the um, on the website, and it was like a couple hours ago or something, or like two days. Ago. I don't. I I already forgot what it was. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh my god. All right, let's do this. There we go. Got them all. There we go. Got them all on the on the correct side. Too easy. Too easy. <laughs> I totally wasn't just like panicking for my life earlier. This is so easy. <laughs> Oh, hi. <laughs> Did you just see me murder all your friends? You don't need to worry about that. Alright. So that should be at least... That should be all of them, if not most of them. Did I... Hold on. I vaguely recall that I just left some fertilizer in the other building. Man, I'm so focused for collecting uh, component kits that I'm leaving some other valuable stuff. Ooh. 
Ooh, Toadbot's bar. Paint ammo. Meh. Meh. I mean, carrot seeds are also pretty valuable, too, I think. Wow. I think, uh, I think, like, between... Yeah, I'll take that. And that. And that. Hungry? Eat a Toad Pots bar. Alright, is it gonna, give, is it gonna help with my hunger at all? Hold on. First, let's do the uh, Gamma Filter. There you go, so you can see what's happening. It's a huge bar. Look at it. <laughs> it's a huge bar. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna eat a chocolate bar from the middle. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, okay. Next time you're hanging out with friends or whatever and you have chocolate bars, eat it from the middle just to drive them nuts. <laughs> Don't eat it from the ends. Just eat it from the middle. Oh, it's a damage buff. Okay. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna eat a beat. We're gonna eat all the beats that I have. It does pretty evenly on both. <clears throat> Dear 5.1, if so, check Sunshake Machines and put something in. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll have to check that out. But I'm on a mission for a component kit, so after this building, I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can find one. I passed by some uh, shacks on the way here, so... Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, Fant. Uh, you're in the chat. Good, 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 good. I can tell you. I tried to install the Fant mod and the uh, Banana Hammer. Um, I don't think you're... I don't think the version... I don't think it's compatible with your new version of the Fant mod. Or I tried to install the Fant mod first and then the Banana mod. The, the Banana Hammer mod. Um, and that it, it broke something. It broke the icon map at least. So uh, yeah, I think the, I think it, it's really important. I, I I need to work on the website. <laughs> I need to give you the option. I need to give everyone the option to be able to like add or replace uh, a specific icon without having to make these incompatible mods. Like the you know the generator thing that I was talking about. I really need to work on that. You know, so you don't have to update the icon map every time. Toadpot head plus one circuit board is five component. Oh, you added that to the. Oh, really? Toadpot head became valuable all of a sudden. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> this is actually a really nice run, though, for component kits. I've been getting a lot. Uh -oh. Yeah, so I think the f like I, I need to spend my component kits on uh, upgrades for at the very least my engine, so I'm not wasting too much fuel. All right, Toadbot, give me your head. Not a head, but I'll take it. Only use the data folder of the skin mod. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go get that crate first. Comparing it, get... Sunshake, yeah, I'll take it. Sunshake's always nice. I'm pretty sure. Well, okay, never mind. I'm pretty sure that uh, ramp on the side there, though, was like as an option to enter the building, a more difficult way. Who needs that, though? Who needs that? Not me. Oh. Nice. Yeah, I gotta say though, I don't know. I don't like Haybots are. <laughs> I, I I can't tell. Am I just being a pro player, or are Haybots just really really easy to deal with? It, it, I don't know. In my opinion, it's almost too easy. 
one, you know, something I might end up doing for this series specifically, for this survival playthrough specifically, is uh, tweak the difficulty of all these bots. Especially the tape bots. The game, I don't know. I, I want to have fun when I play it, so <laughs> I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna make some bots harder, some bots easier. We'll see. Really? There's nothing up here. I'm just gonna leave that hay bot that was in there alone. I mean, it was standing next to a, a one of those container things, so I'm not really interested. Huh. Not a good building. This building had nothing, pretty much. Woof. Okay. Nothing else down this road? Hey, we can probably find a sunshake machine there. Are you gonna get new clothes in survival mode, or do you plan to? Um, I, I I might mod in some some new outfits or something. I, but as far as I know, I have all of the outfits unlocked. As far as I know, the developers never added any new ones, so I still have. Or except for except for like maybe one or two of the uh, epic tier clothing. But I gotta be like really really honest. I'm not at all interested in any of the clothing that Axelot made. <laughs> that, like it, I, I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, you can put stuff in it now. That's what I was. That's what I was here to look at. Hey, look! Does it take other stuff? What? Really? It shows the items in there? What? Hold on, bag of dirt. Okay, that I, I don't know what happened to the bag of dirt. Let's take that out, put the bag of dirt back in so I can see it. Okay, it's, <laughs> it's just like super shrunk. Alright, that's funny. Um, Comparing kit? Component kit's also kind of shrunk. Oh. Banana. Yeah. <laughs> Stubby banana. Too bad I don't have more things in here that I can shrink for fun. Uh, potatoes are pretty big. Yeah, but they scale down evenly. Ooh, there we go. Honeycomb looks a little thick. Anyway, that's really cool. <laughs> that's really cool. Uh, and it's a chest? It's a chest. It's a chest without any openings or, or clo closing or whatever. Input, output. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it for storage. All of a sudden, the vending machines are useful. Thanks to the fans mod. You know what I'm going to do? Oh, also, gamma, 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 gamma. My bad. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. You know, uh, you know, I, I want to add something else in here too. You and uh, you and uh, maybe something with some. Nah, nothing really. You know, maybe you as well. Alright, so we're gonna add... Um, you in the front row. You in the front row. Oh, the fresh sign is so cute and very thick. Oh my god. Yeah, the walk... 
cap uh, pretty scaled pretty evenly. Um, let's try this antenna. What? Okay, that's wrong. That is very wrong. <laughs> All right. Um, there's still one thing that I can't. Hmm. Can I do this? Can I? Can I do this? We'll put oranges in there, and then I pick this up. I can't. Yeah, I can't put a full chest inside of a chest. Obviously. Obviously. All right. All right, and I'm full, so I should probably drop some stuff that I don't need. The fresh sign's always fun to have, but I really don't need it. Oh, hi. All right. No Karen? Well, I have some Karen. Oh, you know what? Yeah, you guys are you guys are right. Put the Karen in the thing. Oh, that's a fat Karen. Hold on. Can I um can I also What slot is it? There you go. I wanted to see if I could like stack them and they would like connect. Make a big old tall Karen, but not quite. Oh, I also don't need the this. Does make a good um, spare wheel. You give me your give me your tote body. Meh, I'll take that. All right. So it's a shame that I don't have that uh, red walk now, because now I just want to run back. So I guess let's uh, explore a little bit more this way. Maybe try to get ourselves lost in this world. I always say, I always say that the uh, the map size is too small, so let's just venture off without any sense of direction. I mean, I have a sense of direction. I can tell where the sun is. It's like a giant compass because it doesn't move in the sky. But whatever. I, I you know, I can at least pretend that I'm gonna get lost. <laughs> like, I, I can tell you guys right now, my base is literally right there. <laughs> it's, it's so frustrating, the size of this map. Hey, Derv, can you do a face review? Sure, whose face do you want me to review? Alright, we got some Karen and we got some walks. Let's uh, get rid of all the Karen that I have carrying with me. Get some more spice. Oh yeah, that's the reason why I have to go back to base. It's because I'm full. I literally can't carry anything else back to base. Um, other walk. Are you gonna come help? Oh my gosh, my game. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, so I'm coming back. Uh, home with some three extra inventory things. That's actually really nice. Oh, that is such a nice addition. Cause like you, you, uh, storage space is like very scarce at the beginning of survival games. So that's actually really really nice that you can just pick one up. Really like that. All right. So while you guys are processing my Kern, go get the nothing that is over here. We're going to get the nothing that's over here. No, I don't want to play with you. Can't make it with a single crouch jump, I don't think. I'm trying so hard to just crouch jump up there. Because I'm a, I'm a hardcore parkour. Oh, so close. You know what? You know what else? You know what else? Hmm. You know, fine, fine. I'll just use my lift. You guys really don't. Game really doesn't like me doing hardcore parkour. So 
sprint. Yeah, I did a sprint jump with a crouch at the end to try and get some more uh, foot height so that I can land on it, but I don't know. I mean, I can jump the way back. Pretty sure I can. Oh, yeah. Easy. Oh, it's, it feels so close, but I just... Nope. Eh. Do you even lift? Do you know how... Yeah, like, I'm a big boy. I have to lift my own butt all the time. Of course I lift. <laughs> and I don't have a cookpot yet. I think that's why I needed some metal too. I really don't have a whole lot of space in my inventory, so I think let's just hit up this this warehouse, get whatever component kits are there, and then just run back. Hello, Lorenzo. Nice to nice to meet you. All the way from Italy. Thirsty. I gotta be careful not to get so thirsty around uh, these guys. Oh, that was close. Okay. Now, oh, come on. Come on. You don't have to hurt the walk. Also, what is this? Okay. Okay. This is probably... Probably... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There we go, there we go. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Whoa, they can move that? Uh oh <laughs> Uh-oh. Let's get them all on the same side, and then we can get them stuck. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right. Oh, my gosh. If I had a spud gun right now, I could save that walk. But whatever. All right. Ah! I thought they was I thought they were gonna get stuck. I thought it was gonna be easy. You know what? I'm just gonna ignore these haybots. They don't even drop. Uh, they don't even drop. Oh, I gotta save all these walks though. It's an obligation. I must. Uh oh! I'm losing some health. Okay. So are they. <laughs> so are they. I guess I'll take a circuit board. Hey, Bart! What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. You don't even drop anything. Pitiful. Yeah, but see, this is a, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This field right here. Uh, in my beacon video, when I was, like, complaining about there not being a corn icon, I would play... Uh, I'd play... I'd play that place a beacon with a corn icon in this field I mean it could be a it could be a walk icon too I guess but I I don't know <laughs> I it, I mean it, do you just fill the beacon with like as many icons as you can think of or do you try to keep it simple all right all right lead them all around the place. I don't think there's a set of stairs that I can get them stuck on. Uh-oh. 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 Yeah, they're... They're not gonna get stuck on this, are they? Nope. Alright. I'll look for something else. <laughs> Just look for something. Mod a current icon. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, if you saw the video, you saw, like, <laughs> I, even though I'm saying to, to people in the video, like, I like the beacon, I think it's a good idea to the game, I just want, a, like, a, I just think they didn't uh, think of all the icons that they could have had, I don't, I think they didn't think of all the colors they could have had, you know, it's, it's criticism, right, it's not, uh, not every video of Scrap Mechanic has to be, like, worshipping Axolot, 
you know, licking their feet or whatever. It's just an honest uh, opinion about what the what the beacon update's all about. But I, like I said, I like it. And then there's still people that think that I that I'm saying that I hate the beacon. That drives me nuts. <laughs> Cause like even though I'm speaking for myself, saying that I like the beacon, people are just like, nope, you said you hate it. It's a frustrating thing to, you know, even when you have a voice, a channel, a YouTube, and you say something and people still put words in your mouth. Oh, yes. I mean, I didn't need the water. Really did not need the water there. I'm gonna drop the water. Yes, these component kits. Oh, I'm coming back with so many, and I'm gonna use them all up instantaneously. Okay. Not even farming yet. And I'm already rich in soil. <laughs> oh, hi. You guys uh, get stuck on this thing too, right? Yeah. All the time you guys get stuck. Except for except for the hay bale maze. You don't get stuck there. Uh yeah, and then this corner is the one that I can climb. There you go. Do Oh no! Oh, that was close. <laughs> Trying to do some uh, lift hardcore parkour. You know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna not kill ourselves and use blocks. Yeah. Cool. Totally. Somewhat. Not really worth it. All right. Park over the way down and uh oh, <laughs> oh, that was close. Um, what, what, what are we at? What are we at? Still some open inventory slots. I guess we're still going on that adventure. Adventure time. Herd ker per ker. I could get some more vending machines. See, now there's like a, an abundance of storage space all of a sudden just with this one mod. That might, like, it, it might tip the balance so much. I don't know. Might be an overpowered mod. But yeah, inventory full. My inventory fur! Um, let's eat a beat. And fight this guy. Like, these bots are d so not threatening. <laughs> except for, you know, except for when I'm, like, panic screaming. Ah! Then I, uh... Then they are. Alright, I think it's been enough. My, inv my inventory fair, so let's just, you know... Oh, that is very tempting. This is the end of the island. This is I want to see what the end is. It's very tempting. I just gotta go see. Oh, lots of honey here. Honey, kern. A walk? And some more kern? Couple walk? Hey, this might actually be a great base location. Uh, aside, you know, from it being really, really far from the trader. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what do I not want? Potatoes. For a banana? For fertilizer. Eh. Let's turn on that gamma filter. There we go. Sometimes I have to see... Oh, oh gosh. Sometimes I have to see what you guys are seeing. Just because this game's actually really, really dark. 
Oh, there's even rocks here. This is like an amazing base location. Are you kidding me? I could literally just survive here forever. Unless there's like a giant farm bot boss in here. <laughs> then I might be really screwed. Dang, dude, these are some big rocks. All over the place, too. This place is... Oh, that is a farm bot boss. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Can't outrun that on foot. Or maybe I can. I don't know. I'm, I'm what they call one of them pro players, right? Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, uh, er, 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 er. What am I trying to get rid of? Well, whatever. Did the farm bot boss already forget about me? Come on. I'm actually disappointed. <laughs> Alright, well. Down this road, what do we got? Ooh, ooh, what's that light? Is that one of those, uh, like, parking lot uh, terrain tiles? But I gotta say, I gotta say, like, that is an amazing base location. Lots of rocks, lots of churn, walk, walk and rock. A whole forest. Rocks and walks. I just gotta set up shop there. Name my shop Rocks and Walks. The rock, the rockin' walkin', I don't know. <laughs> Rock and walk. Sounds like an amazing restaurant. Oh, Copernicus! Inventory fur? For Copernicus? No, 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 no. I say no. We're just gonna gouge on oranges right now. Just so I can start a new stack. Yeah, it is one of those parking lot tiles. And another gigantic forest that probably has a farm bot in it. Excuse me. Just uh, passing through. Oh, you know what I'm going to find here? I'm going to find the campsite. That's what I'm going to find here. I already know this uh, this world like the back of my butt cheek. There it is. What did I say? What did I say? All right. Is there a point to trying to hammer these guys all the way back? There's three of them. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> not not three of them, though. Yeah, but, like, you know, in my brain right now, I'm just, like, think, you know, why why would I need a beacon to put here when I know it's here, right? Like, I, I knew it was here before I even got here because the way that the map generation in survival mode works, it always puts a campsite at the bottom. If you're, if you're looking at the map this way, like, you're as, as if you're the sun looking at it, then it's going to be at the bottom left. Or the left side, like the left middle side, is always going to be the the camp. Brought you some friends. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is also really really cheap too. Just fighting them in the water. Oh, component kits. Thank you so much. Man, they're just so triggered. Just. Um, do they, do they, like, specifically go after my lift? Not really. No, not really. Not unless I'm, like, on it. Okay, those, those, they're broken. What? They're just broken. Alright, well, I guess I can deal with them one at a time, then. Oh! 
Oh, okay. Next one's like, okay, it's my turn. My turn for the 1v1. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> I was actually really close. Really close battle there. I'm just gonna wait a little bit. Just a little bit for my health to get back up. We might even uh, just use my lift for this. Puh! They just break down. What's going on? Oh, coffee! You know, that might be a mod. That might be a mod and a half. Coffee beans? And water? And uh, fire? Into a new bot that is a, a coffee bot? Heck yeah. A new plant. Coffee bean. Put 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 in a new bot. Coffee bot. Put it in with uh, water and... Okay, well, you need the... I guess you need the seed and the plant and then the fruit, right? Or, the like, the... The, the beans that you get out of the plant. I don't know. But yeah, I just put it in the coffee machine with um, with water and ember, you know, for the heat. <laughs> for the heat. That'd be hilarious if you if, if you could add heat to things just by adding ember into the recipe. Like you want, uh, you, I don't know, you have, a, you have a pizza burger and you want a spicy pizza burger, just add ember into the recipe. Or if you're, it, maybe you can grow like peppers, right? But then you add ember, put ember all over your farm and oh, hi, it's the big guy again. Well, I didn't really want to fight you, big guy. He already ignored me. <laughs> I guess I'll take a circuit board. All right, how far is he gonna chase me? Oh, he's, he's coming, he's coming. <laughs> oh, he's coming, he's coming. Are you done? Done chasing me? No, he, he's still trying. All right, all right. Let's see, can I, uh, can I fight him? Can I fight him? Oh, that's right. Hammer does nothing to him, right? Hammer does nothing. I forgot that developers removed hammer damage against this guy. It's the most annoying thing ever. I mean, not that, uh, not that it, like, I can understand why the developers would remove it, because this is, again, very, very cheap. But it's not like they fixed uh, all their other bots, too, right? I don't know. Let's keep on hitting him. Uh, how many hits was it? It was, like, 50. I don't know if I hit him 50 times yet, but... We'll just stay here for a bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I must be at least 30 hits into him by now. I'm pretty sure that they removed the hammer damage. Also, I gotta I gotta make sure I don't drown. <laughs> there we go. Nice! We got the farm bot dancing. Alright, we got it, we got it, we got a dance club. <laughs> okay, okay. We're done with this. <laughs> Let's just go back to base. <laughs> Derf Gamma, yeah, I, I just turned it off. Just turned off the Gamma. What did I just arrive to? Uh, a, a reason to hit the like button. That's what you arrived to. I'm not your average scrap mechanic player. I've got so much shenanigans that... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> All right, so let's just try to run directly to my base. Uh, trying to trying to pretend that my mental map, 
but I don't need a beacon, right? I gotta prove it to you guys. I gotta prove that I don't need a beacon. So I'm gonna run directly to my base. Directly. No, no detours. We're just going in a straight line. What's this? Something's in my way. Well, I did say no, no detours. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ah, fine, I'll take a take a circuit board. Until the devs fix the deletion bug, I won't recommend this game to anyone. Yeah, there's so many like deal breakers. If, if, if that's the way that's the phrase to use, a deal breaker. Um and like I let, let me tell you, I am a pretty hmm what, what do I want to say? Because, like, there's some people that think that I don't like this game, and I do, right? I wouldn't be playing it if I, I genuinely don't like it. Um, but I'm also probably, like, the, the, the worst critic for Scrap Mechanic 2. Because, like, uh, I, I don't know. The way I see it, like, the way that I see it, uh, a diehard fan, if they, like, worship the game and they think, Oh, it's so great, it's so great, and they tell other people, It's a really great game, it's a really great gra game. That's doing more damage than the criticisms that I'm doing. Simply because that's going to convince people to try the game in an unfinished state where there's all these deal breakers. They're going to discover them for themselves and be like, oh, okay, this is a deal breaker for me. Uh, but unless there's actually like some criticisms, I don't think the game's going to change that, you know? I might have... I might have overshot my base a little bit. It's not here. Well, over there. In between this this giant tree and this giant tree. I'm pretty sure. In that general direction. Uh, there's nothing really I can pick up here along the way. Not that I really need anything either. No, I think uh, I think I was just going for component kits, and I'm leaving with almost I'm 43, 43 component kits. It's creative only. I'm playing survival. I'm not playing survival at all, though. The game sometimes deletes stuff on bearings, or even a whole flyer. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that deletion bug. I like. I, I think it's something to do with the input controls. So it might be like if you're playing on uh, windowed mode or full screen mode, if you have double monitor and you click outside the game, your input's not in the game all of a sudden. So. So like if you were holding right click and you drag your mouse out of the window or something like that, uh, then the game is going to think that you're still holding right click even though you're not when you go back into the game. Ooh, my computer fans are spinning. Spinning. Hey, Jora200, thank you for the two euro super chat. Is your subscriber count? 42069 already. Ooh, that's a, that's a good question. I'm gonna tab out of my game real quick. Hopefully, you know, I'm just continue autopilot right now. I wanna see if uh let's let's see if I can check that out. Which by the way, now's a good time to hit the subscribe button. No. No, we're not even there yet. <laughs> uh I, I think it's funny because every time I mention something like that, there's some people with uh, with, that they subscribed with like all their accounts and I when I say something like that um, I think they unsubscribe from all their accounts too just to make it more interesting <laughs> so it's really it's really interesting to see the the things that I say sometimes and how people take it but no we're still we're still within um, less than less than a hundred subscriptions for to get to 42069.
I overshot my base. Yeah. <laughs> what did I say, though? It was in between the giant trees. I went in the middle of them. So it was a lot closer to the first giant tree. You just murdered. I'll take it. Also, I don't think I hit up this, uh... I didn't hit up this building, I don't think. So, might as well hit this one since we're on the way back home. Campernicate! That's exactly what I need. Um... Really? Another, another place where I can take advantage? Alright. I'm not complaining. Nothing. Nothing that I'm looking for, anyway. Oh, hi, all y'all. Nothing. Nothing. I feel like I did hit up this building now. All right. So what did I need these uh, components for? Component kits for? <laughs> what I need them for? Upgrading my engine, that's right. Engine should be the, the first priority just because of how much it's uh, fuel it uses. So let's do that first. It's gonna be costly. Oh, but I have 44. Oh my God, but I just used 18. Holy moly. Also, uh, yeah. Yeah, at least one good controller. Well, no, I don't need it any faster than this, do I? That gives me enough bearings. Okay, I don't need that. Um, 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 craft bot. There we go. Bam! Uh, you can also make... I don't have any scrap metal! <laughs> now I do. Okay, so that should be enough bearings then for my second drill. Do I have, uh... Where do I... Did I put... Oh, I still have bearings here. Ah! <laughs> ah. I need uh, another suspension, but... Oh, there it is. There it is. I don't want to... Whatever. Um, yeah, let's set up, uh... Let's set up my... <laughs> That's not how I want to put that. Let's set up my, my, my fridge, my back room storage. From the shop. There you go. You walk right in, you can see, you can see everything. Nice. All right. So in here, let's put uh, lots of milk. <laughs> I don't know why, but we're putting in milk. Let's get all of this stuff. Well, we don't need to. We need. We don't need to store this inside anything. We can put it on the floors, right? That's what I've always been doing. Why do I need to put it in anything? I don't know. I don't know. Those are thick pouches. Um, I guess, uh, I guess we'll just put food in this back one. So I gotta remember to grab my stuff, uh, before going out on any adventures. Yeah, that's also food. I'm not smart. All right. I 
think uh, I think that's the distance to keep them apart. Something happened. <laughs> there we go. All right, please tell me this fits. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, and then you... Fastest in a loop. There we go. Okay, so let's uh, see then. Uh, what did I need for a seat? Cotton, that's right. I still haven't found cotton in this playthrough, in this session at all. The last uh, world seed that I had, like, gave me cotton for free, pretty much. Alright, I got lots of fuel. I don't think I need that much fuel anymore. Oh, fuel tank. Let's see about uh, just making one of those. Because carrying fuel around with me is kind of lame. Oh, those paint ammos that I've been dropping. Okay. And metal. And metal. Easy. Easy. Oh, wait. Glue. <laughs> Uh-oh. Do I have glue? I do. Oh, my God. I have barely enough. Oh, all right. Uh, what else am I going to do then? Because I, I still want to improve my metal collecting ability a little bit. The last game that I played, I had my, like, mining vehicle equipped with this stuff on top of it. So I could just go from rock to rock to rock for days. For days and days. I might end up doing the same thing. Alright. <laughs> just shove it up there. What happened to all that fuel that I had? And there you go. We're set to go. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll put my Copernicus in there. Ooh, such a, such a cute little Copernicus. And the circuit boards, too. I, I want to see it. Hold on, I want to see it. There you go. <laughs> Cute. All right. I think um, I think let's just go out for a little mining adventure then. Uh, I I also hold on, hold on. The trader's like right over there. What does it cost for a spud gun again? There's a gamma filter. I really don't remember. What else? The, like this this mod's adding new stuff, right? I gotta check. Um, Yeah, component kit. Just one each? That's crazy. And it gives you five? That's crazy. That's an overpowered... That's an overpowered recipe, I think. Oh, because I, I wasted already, like, three or four Toadbot heads. Is there one still out here? Nope. I mean, there's a, there's a Toadbot, but not the head. Ah, just a circuit board. I'm looking for your head. A 
Okay, and then that's where the mining thing is. Uh, yeah, we'll just we'll just go for a little mining adventure then. I do need to bring food with me. Um, we can bring some sun shakes. Bananas are really good for... Hold on, I've been collecting a lot of bananas. It might be possible to trade some valuable stuff at the trader without even getting the seeds for it, right? No, pineapple seeds you have to get from the, from the warehouse. I don't think you can find them randomly in the world. Yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna eat my bananas. Uh, just on a mining adventure, right? I want to go get a spud gun. That's what I really need. Oh, oh, before I do this. Duh. Gotta put these things on. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna assume... I'm gonna assume they'll collect like this. Yeah, that's very low. Alright, that works. Cool, my level 5 engine got some nice engine power. Hungry? I don't I'm not worried about being hungry. Can you can you just uh give me your head? Oh, he dodged my car just because I turned on my drills. Okay, the hammer, the hammer does a faster job. Yes! Oh, I got the ingredients. I'm gonna go test it out. I have to. Hey, uh, Jared. Why is a Ricola man saying sick man in my chat? Yeah, component kit. Give me component kits. What an overpowered recipe. It's even, like, incredibly fast, too. Nonsense. Nonsense. What do I even use a component kit for now? I don't know what I need it for anymore. Alright, let's go on a mining adventure. Check the trader. Yeah, right. We're gonna go on a mining adventure and check the trader because I, I completely forgot what uh what uh spot gun costs and I I want a spot gun now. What is that Haybot attacking? <laughs> Some rocks? Alright, I'm, I'm probably going to have to deal with it. I also forgot that uh, my drills don't reach that rock, which is really frustrating. Copernicate, yeah! Now nah, we're just going to deal with this one. Um, there we go. I was looking at that like, uh, excuse me, is this the hammer on the farm bot all over again? Kernburger? Oh my gosh. Ah. Yeah, there's another, there's another really, uh, really good mod idea. Not the, um, not the coffee maker one. Uh, that's, an, that's another small idea, but I have, like, a huge idea for a custom mod. Oh, what is this? A duplicated rock? I'll take it. I'll take it. It gives me more rock. Okay. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Give me that duplicated rock resource. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll uh... I'll see if I can uh, get back into mod making sometime. Sometime. But I, I'd really rather focus on doing the thing that... No offense, nobody else can do. Making that website for mod makers and players. Eh. <laughs> this terrain is awful to drive on with this vehicle. I just want some rocks. Why was Kernburger deleted? As far as I know, it was never in the game. I don't know what you're asking about deletion. Uh, it's not, that's not, that's not a thing. Okay, okay, the engine speed might be too, too fast. And that's also, oh, I can't pump those up. Hmm. I can pop up one of them. Cool. <laughs> cool. I wonder if the uh, suspension duplication glitch is uh, still there. Oh my god, why? Hold on. Is, are one of my wheels actually spinning the wrong way? No. <laughs> so weird. Come on, just just drill the rock. Just oh my gosh, this this vehicle and terrain is awful. <laughs> just awful. All right, I think I'm I might uh, I might get all these chunks by hand. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Scrap Mechanic? What are you doing? How is anyone supposed to do this? If you literally... Ah! ah! <laughs> Bouncy rocks. Oh... My gosh, the wheel... I, I want spiked wheels. I want these spiked wheels to grip the ground. My gosh, this is frustrating. To try and drive on these things precisely. Like, look, look, look. I'm just pressing forward and back. And I'm, like, rotating every time I do. Man, that is annoying. <laughs> ah, I just bottomed out. Ah! Oh! Gosh, darn it! I'm like I'm literally gonna make faster progress just doing this by hand. Too many loose items. On what are you talking about? Too many loose items on the ground. This is exactly what Axolot designed. This is this is the game that Axolot designed. It's not too many. This is exactly exactly what they intended. It's kind of sad that I'm making faster progress with the hammer. All right. Oh, hi. Are you going to fight me or just stare at me? What the heck? What the heck? Did you see that crazy movement? What was that? Your hacks. Your, your hacks in. You crazy. Hack spot. That was actually crazy. You 
use your grinder. Oh, that's right. You added, like, some new... Uh, what the heck? Did you just see that? Like, my character did a weird walk, too. There's, like, time jumps happening now in Scrap Mechanic. What the heck is going on with you, Axolot? My god. Like, the, the, first, the first survival stream, I decided, like, okay, I'm not playing this game until, like, it's playable, because it's only making me hate the game. Second time playing it through, trying to give it a chance, like, it's doing the same thing. I don't know how. Oh, I do know how. <laughs> yeah, those grinder parts that, uh, I, I gotta go check them out in the, the craft bot. They look like, uh, they look like drill things, but they're in the shape of buzz saws, I guess. So I, they rotate differently. And I can put them on my wheels. Uh, oh, I still missed a lot of them. <laughs> still missed a lot of them here. Uh, the grinders, if, if you're asking about what the grinders are, I'm playing with the Fant mod, so it does add some new parts to the game. And some new crafting recipes and some other stuff. There's still big rocks here on this side too. All right, well, I think uh, I think this should be enough to fill up the resource collectors too. Maybe I have four of them with me. This is why I really need to probably build just a better vehicle to carry around a refined bot and only two resource collectors. Okay, let's uh, let's collect this stuff. Drive to the trader, get a get a refresher course on what I'm gonna be working towards, and uh, let's see if we can get a get into a first first warehouse today. If I can get a spud gun, geez, I don't even have a farm yet, so that's probably not gonna happen. <laughs> probably not gonna happen, as I probably need to farm a lot of stuff to trade. Very efficient. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> you know what? One of these days I'll have a, a, a better method of getting all this material. Ideally, I think I want to have like a giant platform of drills that I can sort of position or flop down like a like a fly swatter, and then um, and then just have resource collectors on the outside of that. So I just come up to a whenever wherever there's a rock. There you go. Make sure that metal's out. Easy to collect. Yes, metal. Yeah, and then hopefully I can just, like, process and grab an entire giant stone like this. Uh, just drive up to it within 10 seconds, destroy it, collect it, and then drive off. Processing.
All right. Oh my god, there's still more! <laughs> Just when I think I'm done. Will the drill platform have corn or kern? What are you talking about? Guys, try not to try not to annoy moderators in chat so much. And try to stay focused on like what I'm actually doing, which is playing scrap mechanic survival mode. So try to keep the questions that are completely unrelated out of it. Like that's an easy way to make sure that you're never gonna be able to speak on that on this channel again. <laughs> so make sure you stay focused on what's happening. I know you guys want to talk about like other stuff too. Hop in my Discord then. You can always ask me questions anytime in the Discord. It doesn't have to be in the middle of a live stream when I'm doing something else. Oh. oh, okay. Okay, we filled like about three of them already. Just need to collect all this. <laughs> oh, I love that. Ah, oh, what happened there? Beautiful, beautiful cleanup. I'm really glad that I can just drive through corn now. <laughs> they used to be like rock solid, so I'm really glad. Why don't I do that all the time now? Why would you ever hammer corn now? You can collect it so much faster. Okay, we need, we need uh, metal, yeah. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's go pay a visit to the trader. It, I, I don't know. Part of me feels like I should have dropped the uh, resource collectors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to come back and collect all this current. It's kind of unfortunate that... Um, walks uh, don't like pick up the loose current that falls but uh, not that big of a deal I think uh, I think there should be a way for me to automate current and milk later on anyway because like you, you can use vacuum pumps to pick up loose items and then you can also use them to shoot them out and place them down so if I just do that next to some current and walk then I should have my automatic milk Hey, bot, can you just, like, leave me alone for, like, two seconds so that I can drink something? My gosh, that was close. Alright, might as well pick this all up then. Really, the, the AI in this game is, like, super annoying. <laughs> it's just... Oh, man. Let's just go do the thing that I set out to do. Visit the trader, see what I gotta do. Destroy all his signage. Why am I trying to avoid the signage with this ginormous... Oh, okay, well, there's no way I'm going to avoid that. I wonder if these signs actually do anything, though, for the game. Like, uh, like if if the signs are still there, are farm bots going to follow you in? Or do they, you know, respect the signs and don't go in? All right, trader, what do you got for me? Oh, here are the grinders. Broccoli crate for that. Why would you? Okay, pineapple for cir you, you The game you're usually overflowing on circuit boards. You don't need to trade pineapple for it. Explosive boombox. Oh, oh! Tank cannon, chemical cannon, mountable shotgun. Heck yeah! Gasoline. Oh man. Okay, so you never have to. 
Yeah, you never have to go into the water again. Cotton seeds. I need to trade banana crates, not just bananas. So I need to start farming no matter what. And then I need to pack them at the crate. At the Yeah, okay. What are these things, though? Universal large grinder, universal grinder. I'm just going to assume they're like buzzsaw drill things. That if you have spit... Like, you can build a grinder out of these things. Like, a giant grinder out of these things, too, right? I don't know what's cheaper. Looks like this is. And it looks like I can craft all these at, at my base anyway. Ham. Ham, ham, ham. All right. I can't even... I can't even do this yet. Right? I think you need to be able to get the seeds from a warehouse already, so you need to at least do one warehouse without any spud gun, right? I'm not sure. What am I going to be working on? Just getting a spud gun? Do I, I don't even know if I have broccoli seeds, right? Oh, but I can get them from here. I see. I see. That's that's how I do it. I just need to start the uh, the incremental process of farming. Oh, okay. I guess that's what we're doing today. And then, of course, I'm going to complain that I don't have something. <laughs> like a water gun. Seed press can make crude oil new since today. Wait, the seed... There was a thing in there called a seed press? Dang, dude. I mean, you could already trade for gasoline. No, no, not make a seed. That's, that should be in the craft pot or something. It, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> I don't know where it would be. Some walk is going to be very happy. Also, yeah, I got to do the uh, the gamma. Gamma, gamma, gamma. Remember the grind for pants? Oh, I do remember that. Yeah. <laughs> the first the first time I played survival, I I uh, all every garment thing that came out, it was never pants. I probably am still missing some pants, but as far as I know, I don't have any, um, the tier one or two garment things. I'm all used up. I only, I can only open epic garment stuff, which I think I have maybe like one or two stuff, which might be pants, might be a, might be a backpack. Oh, no, I'm really not interested, really not interested in the... I'm probably gonna mod in some uh, custom garments before before you see me using Axolot stuff again. Durfee has all the seeds? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's something new too. Before you used to be only only able to get uh, the seeds from from uh, warehouse. Okay, and then that should be processing all of that. 
Also, I'm pretty sure the reason why I needed um, metal two was to make more of these guys, right? No, that's metal one. Circuit board and capone kits, huh? Tote bot heads become super valuable all of a sudden. Yeah, here I can make the grinders. You can make ember? I don't know if that's, uh, I don't know if this is a... Fant, if you're, you, you're still in here, right, Fant? Yeah. I, I don't know if this is gonna be, like, stay in here, because I'm pretty sure what Axolot's gonna do in the future is add fire to their game, which includes things like, like, like fire physics, like, uh, like maybe you can have a flamethrower eventually. Um, so if you can take some of the wood that you have, combine it with the the, the fire ability that I'm pretty sure Axolot's gonna add, then that's how you can produce ember in a vanilla way, I think. Or if there's a way that you can like have a fire flamethrower thing and you like shoot it at a tree and it converts the tree into like one of those burnt trees. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not saying this is a bad uh, addition to your mod. I'm just saying that I think that Axolot was thinking about something like that in the future. So it's going to contradict with this idea in the future. You can craft a sunshade. Nice. Nice. I don't need to drink milk anymore. I can just be all sunshakes. 100% sunshake. Oh yeah, I have all this kern. <laughs> I need to find a walk. Oh, tote bot! No walks, huh? No walks, huh? When? In four or eight years? Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see. Puh! I can only make one. Fine. Because it takes so much banana. Oh, the red walk! All this time I've not been picking up batteries. Wait a second, what? Oh. <laughs> oh. Never mind. I thought you could like cheese this and get like. You can craft a craft bot with craft bot? That's definitely the mod. That's definitely the mod that's adding this stuff. But you didn't add cook bot. looking for I'm looking for the this thing yeah give me some of that okay we need to we need to start farming stuff Yeah, we need to start farming stuff. Alright, where am I going to build this farm? Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> I made a mistake getting all those sunshakes. Also, because I don't see any, uh... I don't see any walk, I'm just going to store my kern there. Alright, everything else, everything else, I'm just going to stuff in here. Well, no. I'm going to put that in my fuel tank. Okay. Alright, we already have a huge farm. Just because of, uh... Just because of all the bags of soil that I would happen to collect along the way. What is this? <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Large storage container. Wait, what? You have a... Uh, there's an even larger container?
Hello. Very large container. Oh, okay. Oh, and it has the input and outputs. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Fertilizer container and seed container. I'm pretty sure these were added as part of the mod because they're not normally in the craft bot. Plant. I, I don't understand. I still don't understand the point of, like, a lot of these containers, right? Because if, the, if this chest here had a connection point, then I can just use it for a fuel tank. I can use it for a water tank. Speaking of water tank. Speaking of water tank. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do like an automated farm thing yet. I think it's a little bit too early for that. So I'm going to do my farm as much as close to the water as I can right here. And then I can just stand in the water with a bucket and like water the entire thing without having to use this. Although I could just probably, you know, position the gun with a controller angle it so that it can get most of this stuff all day every day hmm hmm that's pretty tempting too that's really tempting actually I'm probably gonna do that it up not the chest wait what not the chest there's another container did I did I look at the wrong modded container forget what I needed to plant um, just plant these three that seems like enough right and we get uh, we also get the fertilizer maybe I should save the fertilizer for when I'm planting um, something like actually expensive I'm forgetting. Alright, grab my buckets. Can't farm potatoes yet. Because I never picked up any of the seeds. Oh, oh, you know what? I want to see about that controller setup. I have the bearing. What does a controller cost? Glue. 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 Did I, did I already get rid of all my circuit boards? Okay, there we go. And metal. Alright. So let's get a farm started. Hehehe. <laughs>
Okay, cool. Ah, it doesn't... Ah, I don't know why I'm running back and forth. That'll be a big wave? I don't think so. You guys don't know what I'm doing. I'm watering my... I'm watering my... A farm. Almost getting it all. Okay, it might be a little bit too far. My, the, the back of my farm might be a little bit too far. Yeah, that's my fault. Like, a uh, 100% my fault. So, I could probably remove the, the back two rows. And, um, do it over again. Or, like, do it in the front, maybe? I don't know. I wonder if let me know if you found something to change and you are too slow with the chat. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, the, the chat delay is quick, right? But I'm also trying to pay attention to what I'm doing. But anyway, see you later, fans. Thank you again so much for the mod. Guys, check out fans on YouTube. And uh, check out his uh, Patreon page if you want to help him make more stuff. You know, if you want him to keep on doing it, he's doing some good stuff. Okay, yeah, this was all to just collect water, but I don't really need water anymore, right? Especially if I'm going to be getting some, uh, some of those chests to help me out. Then I can just get a pump directly into my craft bot. Oh yeah, let's go get some glue. Okay, do you know the vid name? Funny enough, the only way that I know how to find, uh... I mean... Will you just find Fant on YouTube if you just search Fant? I think so. But um, I can find Fant's uh, YouTube channel and Patreon and everything from ScrapMechanicMods.com. Like any of the mod listings that he, where you can download the mod. He links all the, the channel and stuff there. Dehydrated. I, I just have an entire bucket of water, but I gotta I gotta go rush. To some real food. Vending machines are already proving to be harmful for me as I'm not carrying food around with me anymore. And this is my farming ven vending machine. Let's pick it up and move it on to this side. There you go. Farming vending machine right there. Uh, that raid's going to come in 10 minutes. No protection whatsoever. But, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Glue. Glue. I keep on going back and forth forgetting to even get the glue. I'm still building my gondola. Yeah, S43. Uh... Whenever you have, like, a, something complete to show, send me your world. And uh, I'd love to check it out. I'd love to go for a gondola ride. Alright, that should be more than enough glue. There's no, uh, yeah, there's no, like, special thingy for me to swim in. Not in this lake, anyway. Nah, just a small lake.
Oh, is somebody looking for like a specific video? Yeah, I do have another channel for Scrap Mechanic. I have, I have three mediocre channels. That's what I have. Oh, I can make this. I can make this. Wait, wait, really? This gives me only one glue every time? Oh, man, that is annoying. Okay, I, I can't... What was I actually in here for? I already forgot. It was a controller. Yeah. Just that I can uh, set up my water cannon. I don't even have a water cannon, do I? I thought I had one. One of these things, right? Could have sworn I had one. Just a regular vacuum pump. I, I could have sworn I had uh, a, a water gun, but I guess not. I mean, I guess I'm just gonna make one. I don't know. Not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. Now that component kits are in abundance. Tesla coil. Put that around my farm. Yep. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, while I'm waiting for that, then, I'm gonna go get some more clams. Hold on. Hold on, there's a walk out there. There's a walk out there I need to feed. What mod is this? This is just a fans mod. Should be the most popular mod on ScrapMechanicMods.com. Their uh, fans mod is about to overtake the mod pack in downloads. And it probably has something to do with the mod pack being improperly, like, very thrown together for survival mode. Alright. Just a tiny bit more glue clams. Glue clams is probably the next thing that like I'm, I'm constantly running low on. Because uh, as far as I know, there isn't like a crafting recipe for glue besides the clams. So clams are still valuable, even uh, even with this mod. Hello, little glow, buddy. I must disagree. Your mod pack is... For survival is great. No. No, I mean, it's not, like... All of those parts were designed in a creative context. And during the time where I was like, okay, Axolot, I'll try my best to use your mod support. So, like, if, if we can do the same thing, like, reinvent the same parts, but in the survival mode context, then they come with, like, proper crafting recipes. They're probably going to be adjusted a little bit for how they behave um, so that they work better with what the game actually is. 
let me tell you one of the first things that like my f one of the first impressions of scrap mechanic survival was that the developers really have no idea what they're doing my god <laughs> like they they threw in so many items with no sense of balance no sense of like did they i want to i want to know like how much time they spent actually thinking about the cost of something and how it was going to affect how the player actually spends their time in their game because like I, I genuinely think that they spent no time thinking about that at all i think it was more like a, a group of friends sitting in a circle like oh how about you know we craft this out of this and like they were just like yeah that's cool write it down and and they just move on right without even <laughs> like without refining it i guess is another way to put it Because that's definitely something that, <laughs> that's definitely something that happens, but like even even uh, mod makers like when they first uh, think of an idea or whatever, but then it's like usually you it's, maybe it is just me because <laughs> it is usually me that spends the extra time to think about all the ridiculous things and like breaking points of the of the mod part adding it to the game and I don't know. There's a different context you have to think about it to make sure it works. But hey, maybe it's just me. Maybe I just think that way and it's not actually that way. What's the phrase? Know it all, right? That's the phrase, right? So now we can build another one of these. Uh, if I had the circuit boards for it. Shoot. <laughs> Shoot. Alright, two minutes, three minutes. That's right, they they always come at night. Grab those sun shakes. Okay. All right, let's see what we can do with this. Let me also get that gamma. There we go. <laughs> you don't want to see just what I'm not seeing. You want to you want to actually see what's happening. This should be for the uh, the back row that I can't reach, right? Let's prioritize the back row first. Well, whatever. No, I'm just gonna be lazy. Set this up within uh, one and a half minutes, and uh, be on my way. way too fast staff man they're gonna drain all the water so fast okay that's wait that's that's not what I wanted let's do uh, let's do the true 45 um yeah whatever we'll just set it up like that beautiful And that's going to drain down to the level of, uh, it's going to end up going at the firing speed of, of the pump, like that. <laughs> okay, some of them hit. <laughs> we can turn that back down, maybe. Whoops. There we go. There we go. That's a lot more accurate. All right. Fight me. No, 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 you guys are jerks. Holy moly, you guys are actual jerks. They never did this before. What the heck? Oh, 
Well, so much for the farm. <laughs> so much, yeah, so much for that. Wow, that was a complete and utter failure. I'm pretty sure farm bots or like the hay bots and tote bots used to chase you first as a priority, right? And I was kind of betting on that. While I'm here though, while I'm here, let's get all this stuff. So yeah, they're gonna they're gonna destroy everything that they can, I think. Ah, oh, that basically means all those seeds were wasted. Uh, I'm actually set back a little bit. And I already I already picked up everything from there. Okay. Might as well hit up this building while we're here. It's very rare that I that I come out this far anyway, so. Nothing? This building is seriously going to be empty. What the heck is the respawn time on this building? Nothing? What the heck? What a huge waste of time that was. <laughs> okay. Alright, just abusing game glitches there. Sora's built several mini auto farms. They are cool. Yeah, yeah, I might just uh, do a mini auto farm now. That seems like the way to go. Definitely don't do the mistake that I did. Because <laughs> apparently now the bots go straight for your crops over top of everything else. You know, even the guy that's uh, starting the crops. The cause of the crops. Cool. Some new seeds. Maybe the game uh, understands that I'm seedless. Oh yeah, I still have that walk. Oh my god, that walk is probably killed too. Ooh, this is a nice rock. Nice flat ground, mostly. Gotta remember to come back to that rock. Tote bots, thank you very much for your faces. Give me your face. Uh oh, is this the is this the raid here? Don't kill me twice. What the heck was that? Did you see that crazy movement? My god, I I come here thinking that, you know, November 4 update fixed a ton of glitches and stuff. I'm only seeing more. What the heck is going on? <laughs> um, yeah. Time to die. Time to die again. So close, but I'm gonna die. So close, but I'm gonna die.
Yes. <laughs> no. Uh, I was trying so hard to just abuse a, a, a lift glitch. If you like land on it right, you get uh, you get pushed by it, and <laughs> technically you can move faster pushing yourself with a lift than uh, than I was struggling to do so right there. Alright, this time no distractions, just straight running. If I can find a piece of food along the way, then I can, you know, make it without any problems, but... I, I don't want to have to do that. <laughs> I don't want to have to do that. Yeah, we should be able to make it just fine. Even if I start starving. Should be able to make it. The bag is a good lighthouse? I, I, yeah, I guess so. Like, before the... Or, I should say, on the beacon updates, uh, people were telling me that they would just use backpacks. Like, they'd die in a spot and leave their backpack there on purpose. Or collect everything except for one item. So the backpack icon stayed where it was. And, like, functionally speaking, it's the exact same thing as a beacon, so... You don't need to craft a beacon. <laughs> it's a free beacon. Alright. How long have I been streaming for? My gosh. Two hours already? Uh oh. I need to go I need to go do something else today, and I feel like I did nothing in this stream already. I mean I failed at uh, I failed at a farm. Okay, where's the grab all button? Grab all. No, don't kill me! Milk. Okay, no, 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 no. There's more corn there for you. Do your job. I found you in the wild, and I expect to use your mammary glands to convert corn into milk. Until they don't function anymore. Alright. What are the chances, do you think, <laughs> that they left something? Nope. No, they wouldn't have left anything. Alright. I must have not learned my lesson at all. Like, I, I get back and the very first thing that I do is just start another farm. Oh, I have more current. I have more current. More milk, please. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go use that fertilizer. <laughs> I want to get this done and over with quick. Oh, wait, my farm's over here. Yeah. Oh, more seeds. It's a bad idea. Bad idea to use up all these seeds. Um, um...
Okay, that's not quite enough to trigger a far or a raid yet. So I think um, I think that'll be fine. Just leave that alone. I think that'll be fine. Whoops! I don't want to pick him up. I want to put him in. Put that in my fuel tank. And put this stuff away. In here. Because apparently this is my crafting chest. So if that's my crafting chest, let's move the bot right on it. There we go, that's better. That's better. Why does it say zero out of... I'm holding... It needs to be in here now? That's really annoying. It's really annoying that I can't use what I'm holding. Man, I'm, I'm actually really annoyed by that. <laughs> fine it's fine because I can just put it in here so what was I even going for in the trader like I already forget I just need a bunch of fruits to go to the packing station to trade something but I, I already forget I would make a little fence around the farm just to buy some time I don't need it I don't need it if uh, if this is not even gonna trigger a raid I don't need it I'm gonna go get some clams Can I, uh, swim fast? Yes, I can. Uh-oh, there's no clams in here. <laughs> I'm running out of clams. Oh my god, he doesn't even open? These glitches, man. Nah, I think it's time. It's, I think it's getting time for me to just play some Minecraft. Play some other game. Uh, you know, a finished survival game. Outputs chest. Do I even bother with the uh, input output? Or do I, um... Ah, see, now I, can, now I have the uh, option of continually doing something until I don't need it anymore. I don't think I've ever really used that, though. Why, why are you stuck in there to collect? Why don't you just go? What the heck? What the heck is this game? Why didn't you just go into the chest? Oh, <laughs> like don't tell, I seriously have to start saying Axelot fix your game again in the second playthrough. All right, what are these uh, vacuum tubes that I'm looking for? Where are they? There they are. That's what I needed the metal two for. Yes. Also, I'm a dingus. I'm a dingus. I didn't build the, uh, the the large modded storage. Huge dingus. Anything else? Anything else? I don't think so. All right. 
Do I get that cookbot yet? Oh, maybe I can. Hold on. Do I have the... I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't have anything for it. What about you guys? You guys done? Not quite. Alright, I think I want to go on a little adventure. Get myself a cookbot. Just got here, what happened? Oh my gosh. Uh, I tried, uh, I'm trying to play survival mode again. Uh, this time I loaded in the fans mod because it does add a, some stuff to the game, which I think makes it a little bit more fun for sure. I haven't even had a chance to check them all out yet, so we'll see. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm already finding even more glitches and bugs than I found the last time. Blah, blah. Maybe it was a little bit too soon for me to try survival mode again. There's nothing in here. Why am I in here? What is that Haybot doing? Like, you, you know I'm way over here, right? <laughs> Why were you sidestepping back there? Well, I do need the circuit boards, but... When you want to get up there, dark is Three component kits is what I need. And like, nine circuit boards. I think what's eventually going to happen with this playthrough is uh, I'm going to become addicted to uh, some of the modded stuff like the Red Walk and try to set up uh, like a, just a factory so I have a constant supply. It's really a shame that they don't, uh, f you know, feed me any sustenance because I would love to carry just that around. But that, you know, that's just that that's that's me like actually being crazy. I, I do that IRL too. <laughs> if I can, you know, just drink a, a, a power shake and that's enough, I probably would. And then the occasional meal for tasting tasty things. But I don't really need, I don't really need to taste something for sustenance, right? That's just my biology letting me, letting my mind know that, hey, this is something that your body can process. Oh my god, that was a close one. Okay, I got all the circuit boards that I need, I think. Not quite. I need two more. What are you guys asking in the chat? How do you do the no fall glitch? No, wait, what? No fall damage glitch. Um, it's just the game's bad physics, is another way to put it. It's not something that you can depend on. It's really not something that you can depend on, so it's not- There's no point to me teaching people to how to do it, because they're going to try that and kill themselves. I think the basic, uh, the, the, the basic of, the, the basics of it, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, you know that, uh, you know the launching glitch where you, like, stand in between two slanted surfaces and you, like, build up speed, even though you're not really moving downwards? You're just continuously building up momentum? Do you know about that, Corozia plays? Corozia. That, I don't know how to what accent should I speak that in well if you don't know the uh, 
The glitch. Okay, you do know about it, Karazia, or whatever. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, so, as if you know about that, then, that's basically what it is. Um, that you're landing on a slanted surface, and you're not making contact with the slanted surface, if that makes sense, right? So you have to find a, a, a very specific spot to land where you're not actually landing. You're slowed down by the stuff around you. So, I mean, you could just build one at the bottom if you really wanted to. And, um... And then just like jump down from the from the roof. Maybe I'll do that if I can. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna pass by. I'm gonna pass by some stuff that I can actually do it now with. Let's see if I can do it with. Uh, here we go. I saw someone on the the last uh, the last Reddit video that I did. I saw a post where somebody did it with one of these awnings. Oh yeah, and the vending machines. I gotta remember to pick up these vending machines. Because the vending machines are useful in this mod. Okay. So there's a slanted surface. There's another slanted surface. You jump in between them. And you don't hit the ground. Right? You're not touching the ground. But right now I'm picking up lots and lots of speed. So much speed is being picked up. To the point where I might actually die from this. I'm just telling you right now I might die. <laughs> yep. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Oh, that's... It's too funny. I was falling continuously, accelerating downwards, but my character wasn't moving downwards. So when I exit that thing, when I when I leave that thing, it's um, it just shoots me down with all that momentum. So that that was another glitch that we saw, right? That was a, a completely different glitch. Um, but jumping from a from a high height, and if you can find a very specific spot to land. Uh, then you can avoid damage entirely because your feet aren't actually touching a surface underneath you It's your body on the sides that are like holding on to stuff and you catch yourself before you fall With the with, with your ribs and your butt not with your feet I swear, this uh, this music playlist, it has like the exact uh, B BPM for the walking animation. It looks so good. It's <laughs> just perfectly to the beat. How do you play the game? Uh, I, I play it pretty poorly. That's That's how I play it. I know. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, trust me, Derf. I know you play this game poorly. <laughs> Speaking of that uh, Reddit video, I'm probably gonna do. I'm, I'm probably gonna change the uh, scrap mechanic subreddit videos though like you guys really seem to like those and i seem to really like them too they're actually easy for me to record and edit uh the only thing the only thing that i thought about like i thought i could do it uh, once a month and uh for the most part yeah that's it's pretty much it's pretty good for once a month oh hi um but the last month that i did it i I, I, I sorted like the top of all time or for the past month I should say I sorted for the best posts of the past month uh, It was a lot of posts like it was a lot of posts that I went through and I tried to like edit it down to a Video, I think I might split it up into like a two-week thing bi-weekly episodes of that How to make a vacuum pump suck water? Ask in a Discord. This is not a tutorial video. Nah, right now I'm, I'm just trying to recover my backpack. Then I can go back and craft whatever that thing was that I wanted to craft. Oh, my farm! I, I, gotta, I gotta get my farm too. I also need another vacuum pump uh, for the trading station. For the, for the trader. 
There we go. Alright, let's also chug down some milk. And we'll grab these guys. These vending machines are super useful because of this mod. Alright, and then I'll also show you guys. I'll take these two as well. Wow, these awnings take forever to remove. But I'm actually going to show you guys uh, an attempt. I'll, I'll attempt to jump off the top of that onto a pad that doesn't kill me. So I'll, show, I'll try to show you guys then uh, a way that you can build the no no fall damage glitch. Because uh, like what I usually do is just look around at the terrain at the bottom and find the spot myself. But hey, if you can just build one, that's even better, right? You know what? You, you know what else though? Like, it, it, you don't even need this glitch. This is kind of a really dumb glitch to have, and I'm gonna show you why in a little bit. <laughs> I'll show you why. I'll, I'll I'll do a two for one. I'll show you both of them. Can we? Uh, give me give me a C. Uh, component kits, batteries. Metal 2 stick in there. Alright. Yeah, what did I need for you? From you. I completely forgot what I wanted from you. I mean, I'm eventually going to need one of these. But I, I got these component kits for a reason. I completely forget what I was here for. Oh, this is frustrating. Like these modded items. Hmm. I don't think it was a modded item that I was looking for. A steam engine? You need water. Really? Really? Seed press. Yeah, that's to make oil. No, I'm, I'm looking for... Seriously, what was I going to make? I remember it needing like 10, 10 component kits and stuff. I, oh, Cookbot, right? It was uh, Cookbot. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, there was the 10 and 10 and then the metal two, got it. Nine component, oh my God. Eight circuit boards, oh my God. How am I low on it again still? <laughs> Did I just waste it on this? All right, whatever. Whatever, we're going in without a Cookbot. Yeah, we're just gonna go without a cookbot. <coughs> All right, let's go to this farm, get my stuff, and then I'm gonna show you guys the, uh, the the glitch stuff, the glitch landing. We're gonna do that, and then that's gonna be it for the stream today. Ah, uh, yeah, let's put away my new vending machine storage. Get my resources out and some drank put this way i don't need that food um All right, I've got an entire convenience store in here. Okay, so I'm pretty sure. Um, can I can I fall damage myself just from a lift? Because that would be like a, a great example. That's not too risky. Nope. All right, we're just gonna go to that building then. So I'm gonna show you guys uh, two different ways that you can save yourself from fall damage, and that'll be the uh, that, that that's just gonna be the end of the stream today. Two and a half hours, and I feel like I accomplished really nothing. I got a second drill bit. I started a farm and failed. I uh, got a water gun. I think the first time I landed, it was right in here. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> here's my, my old blocks. Why 
are there haybots down there? You killed a walk! Monsters! They don't even eat the meat. They just kill for no reason. No reason. They're just complete monsters. If you kill something, you must eat it. That is the rule. <laughs> that is a rule. Alright. I mean, like, I'm pretty sure sharks follow that rule. Huh? Do you wanna do you wanna do you wanna be less cool than sharks? Nah man, you gotta be cooler than sharks. Okay, so test number one is this dangerous setup. Oh my god! Okay, I gotta be really careful not to kill myself before I even do the thing. If I put them right next to each other, do I even fit? Okay, I do, but barely. Not a good idea. Do the one block gap in between, so there's enough room for me to not miss. Because if uh, yeah, if I miss and I land it, hold on, let me see if it works with a two block gap. Oh! Oh my God! Forty-seven damage. I'm gonna go back to the one block gap. So yeah, if you can find like slanted surfaces uh, that like can catch you, that's uh, that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is do not miss your aim landing in a seat. I think that's gonna work. Let's find out if it actually does work. <laughs> also, I haven't crafted a bed, not even once. You don't want to kill me twice. Well, what are you talking about? Kill me twice. I'm gonna show you how to survive fall damage twice. What do you? What do you? What's this nonsense? Kill me twice. Crazy fantasy you're living in. Kill me twice. Beh. 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 It's not gonna push me off, is it? The thing that I literally wasted a component kit. Whatever. Whatever. Now the game gives it to me. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I'm happy that I got a C. It was much better than every other epic loot crate that I've ever gotten ever. So I'm very happy that I got a C. Oh, oh god, oh god. Ha! <laughs> I actually survived that? Oh my gosh. I did not even mean to fall. That's why I was like, oh god, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this this is so dumb. <laughs> uh, but it's also technically possible if you have a seat with you. That's that's what I was trying to say. Do you just uh, mash the click button and uh, and E, and you you just you know the 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 idea is that you hop in the seats before you hit the ground. So let's go ahead and try that. <laughs> oh my gosh, can I can I just do this? I don't know if this is a smart idea. Chances are this seat might uh, launch me for a ride. Cool. It did not. <laughs> okay, it did not. All right. Uh, let's eat up. Okay, tomato is mostly liquid, apparently.
Jackson, thank you for the subscription. All right, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it with the uh, the seat that I have in my hand. The seat that I have in my hand. Let's do this. Uh, I hope I. I Hold on, maybe I'm gonna recover a little bit more health first, because <laughs> apparently this is a, a a 90 90 HP hit, not a full hundred. All right, first person so that I can get the the proper aim. Look straight down. Jump off and uh, spam E and clicking. All right, that was like too perfect. I don't think I even entered the seat. Or if I did, it was like a split second like that. So that was, uh, that, that was too perfect. It could not have gone better. How do you do that? What are you talking about? I just, I just explained it. I just explained it. Were you paying attention? So I did it with the seat that I have with me, right? Which also is coming in very handy for climbing. But I have a seat that's down there as well. Let's make sure I find it. There we go. So I'm gonna try now to do it with the seat that I that I see down there. Uh, so if you put a seat before you go into a building, you should have this option for you every time. Erp. There you go. Zero fall damage. Easy as that. Now the last one, the last one's super risky. That's why I'm doing it for last. <laughs> this one is if you find two slanted surfaces to catch yourself in between, you can, for the most part, you can uh, change your momentum, um, which is why, which is why it also hurts you down here. Like if, right here, you have no momentum, right? So, but then you pile up some fall damage from a very small height. The thing that this, the, these slanted, oh no, I just broke them. Ah! <laughs> ah, <laughs> I can't even show you now. Uh, but the thing with those slanted surfaces, um, man, they can all they do is just change your your momentum, right? So even if you're falling down really really fast and you land in those slanted surfaces, you can change your momentum to be zero. It doesn't have you don't you can get rid of fall damage that way too, as well as giving it to yourself. All right, <laughs> let's let's actually do it this time. Put the seat on something, then make it fall down and be in it. Yeah, that's another that's another method too. As a matter of fact, let's let's show you guys that method for those that don't know. For those that don't know, so I already showed you that you can do two sort of difficult things to do where you have a seat with you, right? And you look down, you jump off, you look down and you spam your click and you enter your seat just before you hit the ground, right? Or if you do that and you enter a seat that you've already placed there. Uh, but the thing the thing that uh, the other person <laughs> in chat, I already, I already don't know who said it. The other thing that they were saying though is to get a loose seat like this, right? Just get a loose seat like that at the top, right? And then you do something like this. You hit it right off the building and enter it, and then you'll be fine the whole way down. So you know what? Just for just for just for shiggles, I'll uh, I'll show you guys how to do that too. Why not? Why not? We're pretty much doing an entire video here of experimenting on how to. You know what? You might see. <laughs> I might redo this. I might redo this as a video just because some people will find this interesting. All right, let's show you this thing. I don't know if this is gonna work, because the chair might fall off, so I'm just gonna make it fall off and jump in like that. Bam, zero fall damage. All right, now let's show you guys the last one. Let's show you guys the last one right here. Uh, the more... <laughs> So this is what I did earlier in my stream and people saw that I fell off a building and took no fall damage and was just and I was just like yep abusing those glitches uh, This is what I'm gonna show you right now 
if you don't have a chair with you, if you don't have a seat with you, if you don't have any of these other options with you, find find this last option in some of this like terrain that's like laying down on the ground here. This last option <laughs> is not reliable. It's not reliable, but you gotta land in between two slanted spots. So let's go ahead and try that and fail miserably and die. And then we end the stream. Okay. Uh, I, I, oh no. Oh, I did it. I didn't do it. <laughs> I did do it, but I stayed in there too long. And, uh, oh man. Ah. Uh. <laughs> well then. Well then. That was, uh, that was fun. <laughs> In that time, I would have built a gondola to be able to go back up again with that. <laughs> uh, S43. S43, you gotta send me a world. Send me one of your gondola worlds to show the people the gondola god of scrap mechanic. That, let me tell you, like, imagine people that don't know S43 gaming. Imagine somebody that plays scrap mechanic, but they never did anything in the game except for build gondolas, right? It's like the people that like to build trains in scrap mechanic. But it's just gondolas. <laughs> that's, I'm pretty sure that's S43 gaming right there. <laughs> uh, so it means, it, it definitely means they are the expert, the leading edge expert. PhD in gondola. <laughs> that's hilarious. I, I would really love to see S43, I would really love to see you play survival mode with some mods. Like, uh, like all the mod parts available to you. Uh, so you just build gondolas everywhere. Oh my god, you might actually do your video. Oh, well, uh, I'm thinking about doing the video. I mean, I, I am actually behind on some editing jobs. I have to record a few other videos, too. We'll see if I can get... Oh, I have the Among Us games that I played with, uh, with the other guys that uh, I got to turn into videos. Yeah, I forget so many things. Sleep in the mechanic station. Oh, that's right. The sleeping pods are right there. How did I forget that? I'm a huge dingus. I'm a huge d So if you want to see this dingus mess up some more survival, hit that like button. <laughs> Subscribe for some more. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm actually, like, seriously considering, um... Instead of, like, playing Scrap Mechanic Survival, maybe I just start playing uh, Minecraft. Or maybe I find the time to do both. I don't know. If you guys really, really like to watch me play Scrap Mechanic Survival, though, make sure you hit the like button on this, then, because I'm going to be comparing how many likes this thing has. I'm not going to fight you. Hey, Durf, this is your reminder to remember things. Oh, okay, cool. What did I need to remember? Oh, that's right. I needed to check out what uh, what was for the spot gun at the trader. <laughs> so I'm, just, uh, I'm just making things up now. I see a crate up there. It might be an epic one. It's probably not, but it's it might be. Also, we need to do the gamma filter. Scrap. Scrap mechanic acts a lot. Your game is too dark. It's way too dark. I don't understand Axolot's decision-making process. Like, it, it, it actually bugs me that a, a game company, a developer company is like, yeah, we get all of our promotion for our game on, uh, on the YouTube platform or other video sharing platforms, right? But, uh, nighttime? Nah, we're gonna make... We're gonna make the nighttime so dark that it completely ruins video compression. So all the detail in the video is completely lost. Meh, but it's totally worth it because we wanted to give the nighttime an immersive experience for the player, right? But they couldn't have added like a setting for that to, you know, make it more, 
more better for video. Like, the people that are promoting their game, they couldn't have made it easier on them at all. Bugs the heck out of me. Axolot and their decision-making process bugs the heck out of me. What, what, what am I doing? I have a seat. Toadbot's bar, heck yeah. Alright. <clears throat> Do you think we should try it again? <laughs> Do you think we should just try it again? I have the seat with me. Let's let's do the let's do this method. The reliable method. Oh my god. <laughs> Still got hurt. All right, let's see uh sleep in the in the pod. Sleep in the pod. Yeah, I cannot forget to do that. <laughs> I'm such a dingus. Where's that uh, scrap seat? It's gonna come in handy now. I also build trams, not only gondolas. Oh, okay. I liked uh, the glitch welded series. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, there's the glitch welded series. There's like scrap busters that I gotta do again. There's a bunch of stuff that I gotta do. There we go. Respawn point saved. Good stuff. There's a bunch of of. of you know, good video series that I gotta get back into. It's not even it's not even a video series anymore, really. I found or like I know how to do I know how to do lots of things on YouTube. I've learned over the years, but um there's still it my channel the Durf channel but the the reason why I say I have like three mediocre channels is because I started on YouTube with this Durf channel. But I had no idea what I was doing, and it was very open-ended. And the problem with my channel now is that it's still very, very open-ended. Uh, I'm probably, like, extremely confusing to the YouTube algorithm in the types of video that I'm going to make next. For the most part. Or, like, not, not for the most part, because, like, they can pretty much... YouTube can pretty much predict that the next video is going to be gaming video. Like, that that's, that's as far as they can predict, I guess. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, so let's, um... Wait, I'm looking up at the wall for my craft bot. I, like, genuinely don't remember what I needed to work on. But now I have the ability to craft quite a few things. Oh, right, my farming's on this side. Uh, I'm going to put cookbot ingredients in this one. Cookbot takes milk, some carrots, some of this. Oh yeah, it was the cookbot that I was after. <laughs> okay, metal two and this stuff. Metal two. Are, am I... I'm seriously down one circuit board? Alright, let's go out and get one circuit board then. Oh, the miniature... miniature walk meat. Yeah. Go out and get a circuit board then. bot. Any old bot. I just need a bot. Hold on. I want to check uh, what the recipe was for Red Walk. That's the thing that I want to mass produce. Fuel. <laughs> it takes gasoline and battery. That's hilarious. That's, that's actually really funny. And there's milk here too. Let's take those out. Yeah, this was my... Oh, wait. Alright, we're going to empty all this out. I don't know where I'm going to keep my food. One of them has to be for cookbot resources. The other one has to be for what the cookbot outputs. 
and then I'll have like four cookbots. Just like my other world. The last uh, the last game that I played, I ended up having six cookbots. All right, uh, there should be a bot in sleep pod number two. Is the tote bot bar uh, modded? Yeah, yeah. It's so funny. I, I took the, the battery from the spaceship way over there for my mechanic shop. Are you kidding me? You just knocked me out with the door, you jerk. I'll knock you out with the door. Got him. Oh, he still got me. Yeah, circuit board. That's exactly what I needed. Are you guys talking about, uh, yeah, blue blue people in chat are moderators. Green people are legendary. That's the, that's the correct term to use. They are legendary people. All right, cookbot, give me, give me your good stuff. Oh yeah, give it to me, 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 give it to me. Oh! Get rid of that gamma filter. All right, all right, cookbot. All right, cookbot, what what can you make for me? Pizza burger, heck yeah. I'm down. I need, already I need two more cookbots. I already need two more cookbots. I'm so impatient. You know, I used to, I used to work at McDonald's. I'm used to fast food. Oh, look at tiny little, tiny little pizza burger. Oh, that's so cute. It's like a double-decker slider. That's hilarious. Potatoes. All right. See all these items that are finally disappearing off these storage walls? It means I'm finally getting some uh, organization happening. There we go. We're stocking up on pizza burgers. I want to I wanna separate them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, Brent. Yeah, you better salt that pizza burger. Oh, man. I am stocking up. Let's, uh, let's put it all in the front row, I think. Yeah. Look, it makes it look like it's more full. This is the this is the tricks that uh, grocery stores use. Whenever they're running low on something, they're actually going to get their employees to stack items on top of each other right on the end of the shelf. And then leave a huge empty space on the back of the shelf. I'm telling you, grocery stores do that on purpose. To make, to make the shelves appear as if they're full when they're not actually full. Alright, alright. One more thing that I can show you guys that uh, I thought was really funny. I put a vending machine in a vending machine. It's a, it's a mod. The, putting things in a vending machine is a mod, but uh, doing this... I don't think I've seen anyone do this. Or I don't think the mod maker Fant even thought of doing this. Because <laughs> uh, it's their mod. It's Fant's mod that uh, is the first one to show like miniature items inside a vending machine. Depending on what you put in here. So I thought about... Um, what is it? Recursive, recursive storage. It doesn't actually go that way though. Awesome. Awesome. We're filling up on pizza burgers. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right, what do we got in here? Glue. We can uh, we can put that over there. Ah, that's right. I was looking at uh, vacuum tubes. That's what I needed the circuit boards for, and the metal tube. Right. I need vacuum tubes. <laughs> I need vacuum tubes. 
I, I seriously don't have enough. Uh... Oh, okay, never mind. It's because I have it on me. Oh, that's so annoying how the game doesn't count to the stuff that's on me. And next time. All right, I'm gonna go sleep. What happens when you break a fridge with stuff in it? You can break stuff? I'll drink some milk. I'll break this fridge. I'm pretty sure it's just the same thing as a chest, so I'm not sure if uh, if you have like one of these chests and you build your your farm border out of this stuff. Uh, and like, a, let's say a bot tries to destroy it. Let's say it's full of items. Do all the items just explode outwards? I'm not sure if that. I don't. Yeah, I don't think the game does that. That's actually a great question, Brent. And I think this is actually one of those things that, um, you know, it, it's another one of those deal breakers, right? Because like, if uh, if an inventory chest exploded and then all the items, you know. Uh, they came out like this, right? They came out like this. They just exploded outwards, and then they're on the ground like this. That would be a good thing. But I don't think the game does that. I think I think anything that you put in there and then it destroys, you lose all those items. And that's going to be... Uh, that's another one of those, like, deal breakers for people that play Scrap Mechanic and they end up hating the game because of all the problems with it. I mean, look, this... I, I know I know there's like a lot of people that think that I hate this game or that I hate the beacon or whatever I just I, I think exactly what I said in the video I think they're sitting on a good idea and they're just not putting in everything that they can into it right just like this uh, I, th I think uh, Brent I never actually thought about that before until you asked the question about destroying these things but it, it applies to any storage chest right I don't know man it's just I don't know Finding new reasons to just uh, be like Axolot fix your game. So I, I thought I thought that uh, Axolot was actually gonna fix her game um, before I even uh, started the second playthrough of this survival mode. But uh, hey, turns out you might see some actual merch that says Axolot fix your game. <laughs> I might actually have a shirt that says that. Anyway, I think uh, I think that's just where I'm gonna leave it here for today, folks. I'm gonna cut the shorter stream session today my god I feel so bad about the farm failure but I think next time uh, I'm so tempted to just <laughs> all right next time next time uh, we'll we'll try to continue this I don't know if we're gonna continue this we'll see make sure you hit the like button on this stream if you actually want to see me continue this game because uh, I'm also going to be picking up other games. And uh, if you guys like to see those other games more, then bye-bye Scrap Mechanic, right? So if you actually like this stuff, hit the like button. If you actually want to see me play more, hit the like button. Anyway, that's it for me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it off here. Bye, folks. Bye, everyone. Bye. Check out the mods that I've making, uh, been making lately for Human Fall Flat and Among Us. I've been making some mods. Anyway, bye everyone, have a good night.